The scene is startling at Columbia University, a completely empty lawn with no signs of students or their pro-Palestinian encampment, a space where dozens of tents recently stood, entirely cleared out. Overnight Wednesday, hundreds of New York City police officers moved in at the request of University President Manu Shafiq to remove and arrest protesters after a group took over an occupied Hamilton Hall, an academic building on campus. In a statement, Shafiq said, this turn of events has filled me with deep sadness. I'm sorry we reached this point. In total, 109 protesters were arrested and faced charges including trespassing, criminal mischief and burglary. An additional 173 student protesters were arrested the same night at nearby City College. At Columbia, student reactions are mixed. It disappoints me to see like the police like arresting my fellow students. It's, they're just protesting. They're just like speaking for what they believe in. In a press briefing, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said events had progressed beyond peaceful protest. There's nothing peaceful about barricading buildings, destroying property, or dismantling dismantling security cameras. We cannot allow what should be a lawful <clears throat> protest to turn into a violent spectacle that saves and serves no purpose. But witnesses say the police response was disproportionate to the offense and just as violent, with at least one student seen lying unconscious on the ground during the police raid. I'm ashamed and horrified at what the university has chosen to do to its students and the actions that it has taken. It's traumatizing for the entire campus. Others support the decision to bring in police and wonder whether more could have been done after initial student arrests were made at the encampment last week. I think um, a big mistake with the first arrests, um, you know, with encampment number one, was that they uh, made, like, like, seems to me like zero effort to stop another encampment from being erected. You know, maybe if they had if they had used adequate police force to stop a second encampment from being built, then we wouldn't even be here today. Jewish students like Ben Solomon say recent events are distressing. It's a very hostile environment for all Jewish students. I haven't uh, personally been physically harassed, but I've spoken with Jewish friends of mine who have been spat on, who have been uh, physically forced to flee, uh, students who are considering transferring out. Shafiq has asked police to remain on campus until May 17th, two days after commencement ceremonies are scheduled to take place. Whether that move will restore calm or spark more unrest remains to be seen. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.